Hey everyone, my name is Pablo and welcome back to another episode of Let's Talk Pokemon. Now for this episode, we're going to do what would it take, kind of-ish. Now if I'm acting a little weird or different and I kind of want to rush things, that's because I'm trying to keep my videos, sh my videos short and because, well, I have a cold actually, I'm, I'm kind of sick. And I drink way too much medicine that makes you fall asleep. And I'm actually fine to stay awake, so I'm drinking some soda. <sighs> Give me a little sugar rush. Keep me going. But anyway, enough about me. <laughs> and allergies. Yeah, maybe you should sit this one out, Magma. I don't want to get you sick. Anyway, though. What we're going to do is that I'm actually going to teach you guys how to, you know, this is going to be the ones in which you can actually do, follow along and actually do what I do instead of me just <laughs> sitting there just t talking about it and you not being able to do it. So I'm going to show you guys how to make an Emolga Glider. Well, that's what I call it. <clears throat> Excuse me, that was the soda. I uh, taste the medicine. Okay, so... For weeks now, actually days, like for such a long time, I've been doing a whole bunch of research on the aerodynamics and flight patterns of animals and certain gliders and airplanes and origami. I've been studying and like figuring this out for a really long time so I can actually make a flying Pokemon. <laughs> and so far, I did not come up with a lot. I did not come up with a lot. Until one day, I found a video in which these guys were showing me how to make a styrofoam in which they, in which basically they claimed that you can make any shape fly and just, yeah, it, it would just like glide and fly. And I was so interested. And so basically, they're telling me that all you need is some, and so like with that, plus a few of my little tweaks and stuff like that, I guess. Well, those aren't really my tweaks. But I added my little personal flavor and style to it. I was able to come up with the Emolga glider. Now, why Emolga? It's the only po it's the only Pokemon that actually looks like this glider. Seriously, what they did was that they just got those little styrofoam meat trays in which I don't have any, so I just use these styrofoam plates. They basically just cut it up into a well, they cut it the square out in which I would have to cut the circle out. They added they just shoved the card in there, added a cup put a little weight so that it would balance and they just throw it and then bam it would just glide so ever perfectly <sighs> man I hate this gold and so anyway I saw that and like then they made these, like these weird shapes like they made a fish they threw a carrot and I was like interesting maybe I can make a Pokemon like that but the problem was not the shape the problem was the card what Pokemon looks like it has a card shoved up its butt like, what, what kind of Pokemon looks like that? So, I thought it was doomed, but then I remembered, Amolga. Amolga's tail's always sticking out, like, like perfectly flat. So I thought, of course, that's the, one, that's the one Pokemon I can make. I can finally make a flying type Pokemon. Okay, I need a little sugar. And so, yeah, I, like, I've, been, I've actually made this little prototype. See? Small piece of car styrofoam I made out of this. See, it needs a little card, but I, it's small, so I try to keep it to scale, so I just add this little styrofoam piece here. And the important thing about this is not the shape. The shape does not really matter. I try to make mine as symmetrical as possible, but what's important here is that you have the card, you have these little flaps, and it's balanced. But not balanced as in half and half. No, no. Balanced, sorry, just some glare, as in one-fourth of this has to, has to weigh as much as three-fourths. So this is pretty much wait, wait, this is pretty much kind of balanced out. I wish I can just toss it. Oh, that didn't fly so well, but yeah, toss it correctly and it'll fly. Now what's great about this is that it's basically just a blank slate. That's what's great about this. It's a blank slate. So I'm not really gonna show you how to make these, and I'm not gonna get the whiteboards because I want to get this quick. So basically, what I did is that I got one of these. And for my little personal flavor, I was going to add a little LEDs. And like, I don't know, it's like for like the cheeks, the yellow cheeks, got some two yellow LEDs, but I only have one yellow LED. I did not want to go all the way to Radio Shack because it's so far to get another one or somewhere else. 
and so I could not get cheeks to light up so that's the one problem I wanted to do with it so it looked more like an emolga because right now it just looks like a pancake Mickey Mouse that's what it looks that's what mine looks like but with this prototype when I first made it it flew so perfectly and just like a flying squirrel which is what emolga is I threw it and I and for the weight I just added a little magnets that's what these are magnets I threw it in like it flew and it swooped up just like this, like a flying squirrel because I threw it at the fridge by accident and it just stuck there perfectly. And it was like, I just felt so accomplished because that's what a lot of robotics try to do. A lot of people that create robots try to manipulate nature and I was actually able to manipulate nature and make it look like a Pokemon and I felt so accomplished doing that. So, you know, here, I'll get my Mocha Glider. Okay, and so what's great about this is that it's easy. And so what I did is that basically just cut it a styrofoam plate. I cut it the entire circle. I used a compass to try to find the center, kind of to try to aim at it. Use a compass to find the center, just circle it around there, cut it, try to get it all perfectly. Because I wanted to make it look symmetrical, you know. I tried to find like the perfect middle. I cut it some stuff out. God used a compass, made another circle. Um, just staple some ears because. I don't know what's hitting me faster, sugar or no medicine. So, yeah, I just stapled like these little ears onto it. It looked like a molga. But it, looked like, it just looks like a pancake Mickey Mouse, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, I put in some magnets. That way it could stick to the fridge. And this actually turned out to be perfect weight. See, I put a flat magnet on the bottom. I put this tiny one on top because it's strong. And it literally looks like it's nose. I just got sharpened in the eye so it would look more like it. And so yeah, basically Amolga has these like, well, Amolga doesn't really, it, it has like these little parachute things that just go like this. It's constantly like that so I didn't really want to draw arms and everything so I just went like this. Went with the pancake Mickey Mouse. Now it has to have the flaps and I had to stick in the car, card or rudder or whatever this is supposed to be. It turns out this is for stability. The rudders actually are it gets kind of for stability and because it like what's great about this is that you can upscale it even more I try to add like a little upgrade by putting the magnets in and I wanted to put in some lights but I couldn't put the lights so I put the magnets in and I'm getting such a huge sugar rush from this <laughs> trying to go really fast here and so now what's great about this is that it's a blank slate so you can actually just add your own little personal flavor to it so you can actually upgrade it even more you know, maybe make it even bigger, maybe like put in a motor and propellers. I did not want to put a motor and propellers because I do not have a remote control and I do not have the right remote and propellers combination to go with this. And so, if you want to, you could. That way when you throw it, it doesn't, you don't have to wait for it to fall down and throw it again. You could just get the little propeller and it would just keep going on. Keep going and going and going and going and going. Man, I'm going really fast. <laughs> Call my breath. And so basically, What's also good is that you can actually put like some little servers, like servos, or just little motors that you hobbyists use for electronics. That way you can move the rudders, because if one goes up and one goes down, and one goes up and one goes down, you can make it turn left, you can make it turn right, you can make it do a little barrel roll, like reverse barrel roll. I don't know what you can do. You can do anything with this. That's what's awesome about it. Anything is possible. Go glider! Oh my god, it flew perfectly. Did anyone see that? I don't know. I am going crazy. Medicine and sugar do not combine. That's a lesson for you kids out there. Okay, I'm starting to feel sleepy now. But anyway, that's what I did, and I'm just going to do some test flights and like, record to you guys, and that's pretty much the rest of the episode. So, I'm just going to do a little stack shot for me here. Okay, over so, there. here's a fridge. Right there. And I got... My glider mark one or a prototype. And I got my pancake Mickey Mouse that I try to make people look a molga. Oh the cheeks, that's how I forgot the cheeks, you know? Who cares? So I basically just threw it at it. Oh see look, it kinda of flies it. Did anyone see that? Oh on me. Okay. Pick it up again. So basically I kinda of just throw it. And yeah, it kinda of flies. But I was trying to hit it to but I did it by accident. I just threw it. It hanged up perfectly on the fridge, and that was awesome. 
It kind of made the flying squirrels action. So let's do this. Now, you could, now what I did, they didn't tell you this in the video. I don't really know where I found it. I just randomly searched on the internet. So yeah, I don't remember, like, I'm starting to lose well, a couple days. So basically, now what they didn't tell you in the video on how to throw, like, they showed you how to throw it. So you can either throw it like this, or some other way, which I forgot. I know you can't see my face a lot. Keep going like this, keep going like this, I keep going like this. Okay, control yourself. And so basically, you could throw it like that, or I cut it a small piece at the bottom so it's for me to slid it further in, and I could just hold this and throw it like a paper airplane. So, that's what I did, and it's kind of working. And as you can see, one fourth balance, one third, like three fourths balance. And let's draw this. Whee! Ah, they keep going back. Sorry. Okay, second test flight. I got Sorry this. Sorry that. Sorry for the call. I'm gonna try to erase that, but did you see that? Okay, I, I gotta show you this. I gotta show you this. It flew to the fridge. See, it's right there. It flew to the fridge. Except when my prototype did it, it was going like this. But you know, it was going like this. But I will take this because that came out awesome. Okay, I'm going to do some more test flights in case I cannot use that one and get monetization for it. Like I said, I'm trying to make some money off of these videos. And so... I'm trying to make money off of these videos so that I can have some money for college and do more videos like these and make money more interesting, more expensive toys for you guys to just watch. Bam! There, see? It just flies so perfect. Oh my god! It, it flew perfectly pancaked like a flying squirrel. Look, 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 look. See, perfectly pancaked flying squirrel there, people. I'm gonna do this one more time, maybe even two more times. Heck, I might just do this all day. Oh, wait, I, I cannot do this all day. I cannot do this all day because I have homework, and I really need to get some rest here, people. Because I do not feel good. Heck, I threw up at school today. Well, today when I upload this, it'll be Saturday, so when I try to upload this. But on Friday, I threw up at school. Okay. So maybe one, two more flights, and let's see what happens. Bam! There it goes again. I don't even feel like showing it to you guys now because you get the idea. The problem is getting these out because they're such strong magnets that I found. Well, if you're finding, if you're wondering where I found actually these magnets, sorry for nothing. Um, well, this magnet isn't really that powerful. I got it from one of those. Like one of those little clip magnets that you just put in the clip and you put a piece of paper up in there. So yeah, it wasn't really that. It's it's only strong because of this magnet right here, which excuse me, which you got from an old tiny RC car. That thing did not work. That was a huge rip off for my money. But I kept the motor, I kept the capacitor, I, and I kept the magnet because they were strong. And so. Basically, strong magnet plus a bigger magnet for surface area, making it more stuck to it. So, that's where I got these magnets. You can probably get them um, for the prototype one. I just got those at Radio Shack. So, yeah. No, oh, it didn't hit the fridge, but it hit the other one. <laughs> that's actually kind of funny. Look, it didn't hit this fridge. Okay, I gotta work on my camera skills. But it hit this fridge. That is pretty funny, actually. Now, I am going to stop here because I am starting to get tired and the mess is actually starting to take effect, so I'll see you guys in a bit. So, finally made a flying Pokemon. The Emolga Glider. I'll, you know, if you're going to make one of these, go for it. If you want to throw my fridges or at my old places, go for it. You know, just don't try to trespass at anyone's but yeah I encourage you guys to make these well to make these specifically these I, like, I might make other ones in which you can make and I'm starting to slow down because of the medicine but anyway uh, if you want to make these go make them 
and I encourage you to one up me and upgrade this even more. If you want to add flashing lights, go add flashing lights. If you want to make this bigger, make this bigger. If you want to add servos and just make it control where it's going to go, you'll do that. You know, I'm showing you guys how to make these and check it out. Woo, they fly. Oh my god, look, it hit the oven. <laughs> okay, so. You want to make one? Go make one. You want to make a video? If you want to leave a video comment of how yours like flew and came out, you know, if you drew yours at the top of the Empire State Building or any tallest place in your place or whatever you live, why don't you do that? Go do that. I don't care what you do with these. You know, like if you want to make one, go make one. I am tired and I am hopped up on soda. And I got a lot of homework to do, so see you guys next time, maybe next week, who knows. It's a freaking three day weekend, I can relax. Except I'm sick, so I'm probably only gonna do that. So, yeah, I'm Google Ladder. Click like, subscribe, comment, one up me on like what to do. On like of how your how more advanced yours is. I don't care. I'm the one that started it. So yeah, click like, subscribe, leave a comment. See you guys next time, and don't forget to catch them all. I am so tired.